that uh, h of x represents the height of the tree after x years. Uh, so we have to determine this expression. We are given that uh, the tree is growing at a rate of uh, this expression that is 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 quantity square meters per year. And this means the growth rate is uh, uh, nothing but the derivative of the height function. That is, uh, we are given this expression that is h prime of x is given as 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 quantity square. And uh, using this expression, we have to determine the expression or the function h of x. So let's see how to do this one. Uh, basically, we have to integrate both sides so that uh, we get this uh, h of x function. So I'm integrating uh, both sides. And when I do that, here we have this uh, derivative function. Uh, I can put this dx. So this is h prime of x uh, times dx. h prime of x uh, basically represents the derivative of h of x. So when we integrate a derivative function, we get back the original function. That is, so we get h of x here. And uh, this side, uh, we have to integrate the terms, this 1 and uh, 1 by x plus 1 quantity square. I'm going to rewrite this as uh, uh, two integrals, that is, integral of uh, 1 times of dx plus uh, integral of uh, 1 over x plus 1 quantity square. Then now we put this dx. So let's uh, integrate this. This uh, first integral, it is integral of 1 dx is uh, just x. And then uh, we will first rewrite this as uh, x plus 1 quantity power minus 2 dx. So that uh, we can uh, use the integration formula. We have in already integrated this term, that is this is x. And uh, we have to integrate this one. Let's see this uh, separately. So let's see how to integrate this expression, that is x plus 1 raised to the power of minus 2 dx. Uh, I'm going to integrate this uh, by using substitution. So first uh, I put uh, x plus 1 equals u and then I take the differential on both sides. That is, uh, we have to find the derivative and uh, we will also put the dx. Derivative of x is 1 and we put the dx and this equals du. That is uh, dx equals du. Now let's uh, replace uh, dx equals du and x plus 1 equals u. So therefore this integral becomes integral of uh, x plus 1 which is u raised to the power of negative 2 and dx is replaced as du. So it just uh, simplifies to u power minus 2 times du. This is what we have to integrate. We can integrate this uh, using the standard integration formula. That is, uh, if we have x raised to the power of n dx and we have to integrate this, the formula is uh, x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus the integration constant c. And here n should not equal negative 1. So let's use this formula. So I can rewrite this or after the integration, you will get u raised to the power of uh, negative 2 plus 1 divided by the same number that is negative 2 plus 1 and then we put the integration constant c. So let's simplify this. Negative 2 plus 1 is uh, negative 1. So this becomes u raised to the power of negative 1 divided by the same number that is negative 1. Then put this uh, c. Now this can be uh, rewritten as uh, negative 1 over u plus c. We have to uh, replace u now as we did the substitution, that is, uh, this becomes negative of 1 over x plus 1 plus c. So, therefore, we can see that the integral of uh, x plus 1 raised to the power of negative 2 dx is uh, this expression, that is, uh, negative 1 over x plus 1 plus c. Uh, I'm going to uh, replace this over here. So, when we come back to our original integral for uh, h of x, we will have a uh, h of x this equals x plus let's uh, replace that is uh, negative 1 over x plus 1 so i'm going to change this to negative this is negative of uh, 1 over x plus 1 plus c so this is the expression for h of x so now that we have determined the expression for h of x or the h of x function we can use this condition to determine this constant c. So let's see how to do this one. 
uh, we are given this information that is after two years the height of the tree is five meters and this means uh, we can write down this mathematically as when x equal to two the height is uh, five meters that is uh, h of two equals five meters that is i write down this without units h of two equals five now we will substitute this uh, x equal to two and h of two equal to five into this function for height so that we can determine the integrate integration constant c so let's do that so when we replace uh, x by two this becomes uh, h of two and this equals uh, x equal to two so therefore it is two minus one by two plus one plus the integration constant c we know that uh, h of two equals pi so i replace uh, h of two as five and this equals five equals two minus one by two plus one is three plus c now let's uh, determine the c first uh, we can simplify this uh, fraction so i'm going to make this as a common denominator by multiplying by three and dividing by three then we have negative one by three plus c we have five here so this is uh, five equals two times three is six this is uh, six over three minus one over three plus c and uh, so this simplifies to six minus one divided by three plus c equals five so we have five equals six minus one is uh, five over three plus c now we have to subtract uh, five by three from both sides so that we get the value of c so therefore this implies uh, five minus five by three and this equals c once again we have to uh, make the first uh, number as common denominator we can multiply and divide by three so it uh, looks like this this equals c five times three is uh, 15 so this basically 15 over 3 minus uh, 5 thirds this equals c now we can uh, combine this as a single fraction that is uh, 15 minus 5 over 3 equals c and this implies uh, c equals 15 minus 5 is 10 so this is uh, c equals 10 over 3 so we have determined the value of c equals 10 over 3 uh, and this means uh, we can uh, rewrite our uh, h of x function. So h of x will become this uh, equals x minus uh, 1 over x plus 1 plus we replace the value of c as we have just determined which equals uh, 10 over 3 that is 10 by 3. So this is the expression or the function for the height of the tree after x years. Now we will determine the height of the tree when it was transplanted. So this is mathematically, uh, we have to determine h of x when uh, x equal to 0. That is uh, at the beginning. So we can uh, substitute x equal to 0 into this to determine the height of the tree when it was transplanted. So therefore this becomes uh, h of 0 equals, uh, we get uh, 0 minus uh, 1 over uh, 0 plus 1 plus uh, 10 by 3 so this can be simplified as uh, h of 0 uh, this is uh, we get uh, 0 here and this is 0 plus 1 is 1 so we get negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1 plus uh, 10 by 3 let's simplify this uh, fraction so i can multiply and divide by 3 this uh, like this so we get a common denominator this equals negative 1 times 3 is uh, negative 3 over 3 plus uh, 10 by 3 so now that we have common denominator we can combine the fraction so this equals uh, 10 minus 3 is uh, 7 by 3 and uh, this is the height of the tree when it was transplanted we can in fact write down this in uh, decimals that is sound by 3 this is approximately equal to 2.33 and we put the unit of the height which is the in meters so this is the height of the tree when it was transplanted